Hello everyone, to end with stampinginthevalley.com and welcome to my craft room. Today we are going to open the Cute Crew Punch Box. This is in the Occasions catalog and it's right here on page 32 down in the corner. Don't miss this. These are exclusive pencils. Balmy Blue, Call Me Clover, Early Espresso, and Pumpkin Pie. I happen to love to color and I love to add to my collection of pencils. So this will go with these two. We had watercolor pencils right here and then these watercolor pencils here. So this is going to be more of my collection and I love that. And then there was a paper pumpkin that we got these, a free gift from Sarah. I collect all of these um, watercolor pencils. So this was perfect for me. It also has a punch in it. But first, before we open the box, and I want to show you how big this is, it's amazing. This is amazing how big this is. But first, if you order $25 in product from me, these are the two free card kits that you will receive in the mail. They come with envelopes, no stamped images. Please watch the video below. It will tell you all about it. Now, we are going to have... This is a special coming for our customers. We'll be able to order on February 15th to customers, but right now as demonstrators, I was able to purchase, because I'm a demonstrator, the All Adorned stamp set, the Country Floral Dynamic Textured Impressions Embossing Folder, and the Painted Seasons Bundle. My very fave, the paper and the stamp set. Now, because I'm a demonstrator, we get to pre-order, and but these are new celebration items, so you guys as customers will then order $50 in product and you'll be able to pick this set or the embossing folder or at $100 in product, you'll be able to pick the stamp set and the paper. Now, this is what's going on for you guys as customers February 15th, starting February 15th. If you would like to sign up as a demonstrator, we are having a special. And I just feel like with every video, I, I have to tell you guys about this because I have new people watching every day. Um, but this is like one of the greatest specials they've had. For just $99, you get to choose $175 worth of product. That's $76 of free product, guys. So even if you don't satisfy your quota within the three months, don't worry about it. You could just drop off and become a customer again. Or wait, go into pending, wait 30 days, and then let it drop off and sign up again as a demonstrator. No pressure for sales. No pressure for parties. You can get the 20% discount. And then as you progress, it goes up to 25% of a discount. Um, so, And then option two is $129. You still get the $175 worth of product, but um, you also will receive this tote while supplies last on that. Now, with that being said about celebration, which is fantastic, there's many items in here, two in the back that are for a $100 purchase, the Tea Time Framelit dies and the Lasting Lily. Now, we have another special that's coming, um, and it will coordinate. It will absolutely coordinate with things in this book. So I, I just, this will come March 1st. March 1st, this is coming. And look at this, guys. Here are the dies for the Lasting Lily. Call me Cupcake. Hop around for the, for the frog. And it must, this must be a lily pad. How adorable. And the Four Seasons Framelit dies, which coordinates with this set right here. So you can get paper, a stamp set, and the dies. The story label punch coordinates with um, this set, part of my story. I just got this. This is coming um, in my next order. And uh, so I'm very excited about that. I'm very excited about the new things that are coming with this celebration. I think it's just fantastic. So right now, let's just open this. I want you to see the packaging. So protected. And then there's this. Look at that beautiful box. I love tins. If you love tins, you will love this box. So let's flip this over. Let's just get this right out of here. Shit, I just wanted to show you how nice it's packaged, how protected it is, and what a nice box. You get the foam in it to protect the top. And then in here, 
more to protect all of this. It's a box of goodies. I love this. Now we get a black Stampin' Spot. And as you can see, I've not opened anything. This punch. Now, you see guys, when they do something like this, I feel like they will carry this punch over. They're, I don't think that they're gonna retire. You know, so, wow, that's in there. Something like that. Here are these pencils. Oh my goodness, what nice pencils to add to my collection. Here is the stamp set is adorable. Let's see. Um, this is like a little bear, I think. Here or an owl. Are they all like that? That's an owl. Maybe that's a little bear. Thinking of you. Happy birthday, little fox. Way to go. I love that with the little turtle. Isn't that adorable? You're the best with the fish, and I love the bubbles with the fish. And then um, a thank you. And I, I think I will use every one of these a lot. So, and then you get a block. Look at this. And this one says Stampin' Up. So I have a Stampin' Up one. And let's see right here. I have a paper pumpkin block. Isn't that neat? I just like having that. <laughs> so let's get this out of here. And I want to show you the dimensions of this box. Let's see. Here we go. And then we get the spot. I love the Stampin' Spot. Move that aside. This box is unbelievable. This is eight inches. Is it eight by eight? No, eight by about seven and three quarters, right? Yeah, that's eight, definitely. Well, it's about seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters, really. And then it is about two and a quarter deep. And I'm telling you guys, this is not small. And it is very, the quality is amazing. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm very, very impressed. So, of course, I'm going to just leave these things in here for right now. But let's open this punch. But I had to show you this kit. I love getting something that's all together like this. Isn't it fun? Because you can just craft immediately. Love that. Look at that. Now, you know, to me, too, for Halloween, I bet somebody's going to come up with this as a ghost. That reminds me of being a ghost. You know what I'm saying? So that's cute. So we will be back in just a moment. And I don't even have anything designed yet, but I'm going to. And then we'll use these stamps. I'll be back in a few minutes. This is what I came up with with our little project today and I incorporated a couple of other things. I went ahead and got a little tin and I'll put this on Stampin' in the Valley. Um, these come in a box of four and because these are so small I was looking for small and I came up with envelopes and little cards. Three by three little cards. Isn't that sweet? There's our way to go with our turtle all colored and I put congratulations and our little bird let me show you that our little bird comes from our stamp set from Paper Pumpkin I'm gonna use these two little birds and our sentiment comes from the stamp set Little Elephant that I put in the inside so we'll do one together first we're going to put together the tin so let me just show you these cards where I got to I did way to go and I used the envelope punch board to make the envelope. This is the happy birthday. Isn't that so sweet? Celebrate your day and there's our little bird. Let's see what this one is. Thinking of you. So adorable. A little kindness is a big thing. I love that. And then this last one. I use the colors of the pencils. This one's early espresso. Thank you. Our little lion there and he's sweet. To my friend. Like I said, I used the sentiment from the little elephant. I was looking for sentiment that was kind of blocky like this is and that's what I came up with. So I did all four of these cards and I used all of the colors of the pencils. The early espresso, pumpkin pie, balmy blue and call me clover. The Call Me Clover pencil is exclusive to this set. So I just thought I would tell you guys that. Now, the next one that we make, I believe I'm going to just do um, another one in Balmy Blue. We're going to use I'll Forget You Not. 
uh, from the little elephant and we will use our little fish here that says you're the best and of course we will use our two little birds but first we're going to decorate our tin I use the needlepoint nook this is the greatest thing about having a kit like this you can just um, pull things off of your shelf you know to use and I've just incorporated many little things with this so much fun so on the needlepoint nook this piece is 2 by 12 2 by 12 is what goes around here and it's very very simple um, you uh, what you need to do is just take this and bend it around your box I did one of these at Christmas with the farmhouse um, and this really comes nice. Now when you bend it, kind of crease it around where it folds, okay? Now actually, this here where the seam is, is going to be the front of our box so that it looks seamless from the back because our medallion is going to cover that seam. So that's a lot of fun right there. Now, you can either use some snail I find the tear and tape is the best it's very permanent it really sticks well and I just take a little piece of it tear it off and I put it where I've creased this in these um, four places so I just put a piece of it where the bend is this is so much fun I've had a ball in this craft room um, do I love projects this is so much fun and I like little cards I love three by three cards and we'll go over how to make all of that we're just going to decorate this first so right here we're just going to lift this backing up on all four places just like that now we're going to bring our tin in and make sure your butterflies are flying correctly <laughs> flying up and I'm going to place it right here on the front leaving equal um, space top and bottom and just kind of press these sides in so that that tape holds that now you're going to come around and it should stay nice and straight for us just like that and we're going to put some here also um, let me put a little piece there at the end I should have done that you can put that on whichever side goes down first just a little piece and then let that fall right there onto that tin then bring this side around and again put another little piece on your edge sorry so all four places plus a little piece on the on both edges okay just like that and now bring this around and that tear that tear and tape is going to really hold it and you're going to meet this up even just like that perfect that is perfect okay and remember this is the front because this medallion that we're going to make is going to cover that seam and I love that isn't that pretty love that needlepoint nook don't you guys love that just a very very happy um, DSP so again this is the front now here's the other piece that we're going to use this piece is going to make our medallion I'll be back in a minute let me clear everything off and I need the scoreboard this piece is 1 by 12 1 inch by 12 inch for the medallion 2 inches by 12 inch to wrap the box I'll be back in a moment we're gonna start to make our medallion so I've taken my simply scoreboard right here and I've put the 12 inches on the top and we're going to score it with the small end of the stylus because um, this is thinner paper we don't need that big thick end right there so this right here is going to get scored every quarter of an inch it'll take you just a hot minute to get it done but every quarter of an inch you want to score this 
and then we're going to accordion fold it. So just hold your paper down really well. And it doesn't take but a few minutes and be happy that you have this tool because it would be hard to get this equally folded if we didn't have a scoreboard. And I just go every quarter of an inch. I hope you guys are enjoying the Occasions Catalog. Remember there's all those new releases coming. Um, and I don't really know myself yet what is going to carry over and what won't. I do believe, like I said, I think, oh sorry, I think I found that the Tea Time Framelits are going into the new catalog come June. So that will carry over and I'm very happy for that because that was just fantastic to me. Okay, right there. Whoop. Right there. Yeah, that one right there. All right, now, after we have that done, and I'm, I'm going to do this off camera, but I'm going to show you. You want to accordion fold this down, up, down, up, and, and so forth. You have to do every single one and pinch them down and just keep going until you get this nice and tight. And see, this is what you want. All of that accordion folded. Every bit of this has to be folded like that to make that medallion. It takes a little bit, just a minute or two. But as you can see, we're running through it fairly quickly. And then again, I push it into itself. And just fold on those score lines back and forth, back and forth until you just have... We're going to get this done, aren't we? Right here. I thought I'd break away, but it seems to be going quite quickly. And then I'll show you the medallion. We don't have much more to go. Might as well just stick with it, right guys? So I kind of hold it and push it at the same time. If it unravels, that's okay. But as you can see, I'm just kind of feeding it into itself down and up. And that's why that last one was important to go down like that. Now squeeze it. Now you have a complete accordion just like that. And what is going to happen is we are now going to roll this around and attach these two ends. Do you see that? Roll this around and attach these ends so that it makes a mountain. See where we're going? Mountain, valley, mountain, valley so that it makes a mount of, uh, let me get my fingers out of the way, right there. See how when it comes together it makes a mountain. So it keeps with the pattern. So I'm going to use my tear and tape. <clears throat> Just a little piece of it. And I'm going to stick it on there. And it is a little bit wider than what I need. So just exactly like a glue dot, you're just going to fold it back on itself because it's sticky on both sides, no big deal. Just like that. Now we're gonna bring this together. Just like that. And pinch it. Now you have a nice circle that will then mountain valley, mountain valley all over, okay? Now what you want to do is take this and bend it down. Fold it down. You're not going to hurt it. Just fold it down. It'll get there. You just have to push it. And look, there's our medallion. Now, how do we get that to stick together? In just a minute, I'm going to be back with the hot glue gun. Back in a moment. We're going to make the front of our medallion now with our little stamp here that says, For You just adorable. I'm going to use my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I didn't open the spot because I had this ink and um, so I, you know, if I have a black then I don't, I wasn't going to open the spot for that. And I'm just going to stamp this here. And two, if I wanted to watercolor because these are watercolor pencils, um, it's best to use the Tuxedo Memento Black ink. 
so that your ink doesn't run out of the lines. But I found that just coloring this was great. So now, <clears throat> what we're going to do is color his little heart orange. And I never deviated off of these pencils. I wanted to use this kit with what it came with the best I could to make the project. So I made sure that everything coordinated with these little pencils. And I thought that was kind of fun. I'm going to do my little flowers blue. And as you can, I love balmy blue. It's one of my new favorite blue colors. This little flower here. And if you wanted to, you know, you could hit this with an aqua painter to make it look watercolored. I don't choose to do that. I just wanted the pencil look. But because I've used that black ink, that Tuxedo Memento Black, if I wanted to, I could. And again, the... Um, Call Me Clover pencil is exclusive to this set. Takes just a second to get it colored, and I love the punch. Just a little fun um, element. I love to color. It's very soothing. I love to put a movie on and stamp something and use pencils, use my stamp and blends, use water coloring. It's just soothing. Now for a lot of people though, it's irritating because it's too precision for them and they don't like that. So yeah, if you really don't like it, you know, like to color, I totally understand that. Now I'm going to color everything but his little snout right there. I'm going to leave that white. So sweet. And as you can see, it just really goes quite quickly. And we have this done. You could keep going back over him if you wanted him darker. You know, little areas of shading if you wanted to. I'm fine with him just looking just like this. Cute. Now watch this punch. See how these corners, sorry, see how the corners kind of curve in just a little bit? Watch when I add this. Right here. It if you follow, I'm just going to hold this right here. See that curve right there? And here, you put the, the beginning of the F there on that curve and the leaf there. You have a perfect punch. It's, it's beautiful. Fun. Just a fun little element. Now, I am going to um, make a little hole in there. If I wanted to add uh, a ribbon, I didn't. On my, I'm using a crocodile here. For this little hole right here. And if I want to add a little ribbon on there after we get this glued. Alright, now we're going to bring the medallion in that we made. And right now it looks like, oh my goodness, what are we going to do with that? You just have to push it down. Just push it. It's okay and get it in as close as you can. Now this is where I wish I had my little grandson here because his little fingers could hold this while I glued, and of course not to burn him, <laughs> but I take the hot glue and I put it on the medallion. In the center. And then I take this and I'm going to add it kind of pushing and hoping it doesn't lift up like it just did. Okay, no big deal, no big deal. Just push it back together. It's kind of a quick movement. I'm glad that happened on camera so you could see. It's just really, you got to get it on there quick and in the middle just to hold it down. Just holding it down, holding it. See, that holds it together, that little bit in the middle. Now, I was running out of glue. 
Now what I do then is come back in and lift this up and place some hot glue underneath here. And this, you can't use Tombow, you can't use anything but hot glue for this guys, I promise you. And if you get the little, you know, strings, you can pull them off. But just go ahead and go around the four corners of this and see you just pull your little strings off, no big deal. I'm going to do this opposite side right here. All right, I'm putting liquid right in there and putting it down right on that medallion. Perfect. Just like that. That came out perfect. Get my little strings here. Let's see, do we need any there? We might need a little bit on this corner. Right in there. And I'm just going to hold it and kind of round out my medallion a little bit. Just like that. And that came out beautiful. I love it. Now we're ready to attach this to our um, tin. And what we're going to do here is put four dimensionals. Maybe five. So I want to kind of hold these together. So I just put my dimensionals on top of them. Just like that. And I am going to add one in the middle just to help me to hold all of that also together. Just like that. It's really perfect. I'm really pleased. And just take your backs off. I'm still using the dimensionals that came with my paper pumpkin. That's, uh, that's awesome. And I know that some people said that they were defective. The only thing you have to do is call Stampin' Up! 1-800-STAMPIN' UP! And they will send you dimensionals. Okay, so I'm going to bring my tin in. I'm going to take my little medallion. And here's my seam. We're not even going to see it. So that's why we put the seam in the front. And we add that to our tin. Now, we are totally ready to fill up our tin. Oh, so sweet! What a sweet little project. Back in a minute and we'll make a card. We're going to start to make the last little card. And I used Whisper White, regular Whisper White, at um, 3 by 6. I scored it at 3 and it gives you the little base, just like that. Then my layer here is Balmy Blue and it is 2 and 3 quarter by 2 and 3 quarter. That's what I did with every one of the cards. Just cut it back a quarter of an inch so we have an eighth of an inch border. Now, I used, it's very difficult to see this, this is the subtle embossing folder, and it is subtle, but it's unbelievable. I fell in love with this. I, every, I heard everybody talking about it. The picture in the book does not do it justice whatsoever. This is a great um, embossing folder just to have for anything. It will go in behind anything just to give it that little bit of texture sometimes. Now because we do have texture we're going to use some Tombow here on this and put this on our card. Let me move that out of the way. That's the little part we're going to punch in just a moment again. So leaving a nice little border and like I said I'm in love with this balmy blue it's what I'm going to do on my daughter's um, baby shower invitations. Use this balmy blue. I'm going to be a grandma again in April. We have another little boy coming, or I have another little boy coming. There's no we, just me. <laughs> so uh, now this is just a scrap piece of Whisper White. I'm going to move this out of the way. I've got my You're the Best with the little fish. I want to straighten that up a little bit on my block that came with it that says Stampin' Up! Isn't that fun? And we're going to do that in Tuxedo Memento Black Ink because we are going to color. And let's see, where's my foam mat? Very important to have the foam mat. Very important on photopolymer to have the foam mat. So that goes there. And I haven't done this one yet. Oh, that's cute. That is very, very cute. I put my lid on here. And let's just color our fish really quick. And of course, we're going to have a blue fish. 
Oh, so sweet. Okay, so this is like my favorite stamp because I like the little fish. And I love the bubbles. There's something about round bubbles this year, or I guess in polka dots, that has me caught my eye, I would think, to say. So I'm going to go right up to that first um, little line of scales and fill her in just so pretty. Nice. And I'm going to make her little bubbles green just because I can. Because I, I like using this Call Me Clover because it's exclusive to this. And I would like to incorporate most of the color in here. Even though some of you might say that should be blue. But no, we're crafting. It could be any color you want it to be. I went outside the line a little bit there. A mono sandy racer will erase that. So I'll do that in a minute. Oop, I missed one. Just like that. Now I'm going to color the fins with the pumpkin pie. Oh, she's adorable. I've got my little eraser here. Here it is. It's a sand and rubber eraser for ink and pencil. Um, I have never found it to work on ink, but it does on this pencil. So I like that. All right, now with this then we're going to go ahead and punch this out just like we did the other. But we're going to add something also to this. And again, follow those swirls. It will line you up right where you need to be. Isn't that adorable? Just like that. I love this punch. I like that punch a whole lot. And then we're going to use our crocodile. You can use any hole punch. Or you don't even have to hole punch it. You know, you can, you can't, it doesn't matter. Whatever you want to do. I'm going to use this balmy blue ribbon that's in the um, celebration catalog and I'm not sure I could have sworn I thought this was on back order I so there's something about this ribbon that I'm remembering but I don't have my notes in front of me so you might not be able to order it if you've ordered from me I've been sending samples of it. Now I always work off the spool and I just thread that through there just like that and then I'm going to take just some white twine and this for, was from a previous paper pumpkin project that I've had left over. This is a great kind of project too that it, you know if you have retired product that you want to use up this is something fantastic to do with this type of um, project that we're doing today. So I just no bow, just a simple knot, just like that, just to hold that ribbon down. And then we're just going to cut this right here short. And see, that's all that I've wasted when I work off of a spool. A lot of less waste when you work off the spool. So right here, and now here we will literally have just barely any, nothing to waste at all. I'm just going to cut that and there we have our tops just beautiful just like that nothing I wasted nothing on that ribbon let me move this aside and bring our little card in turn this over and you want to add two dimensionals to this one up here and one here and I'm going to put it on at an angle just like that. Isn't that cute? That just made that card. That made the front of that card. Now I'm going to open my Balmy Blue. Watch with the new ink pads, a new way to open them. Connie Stewart's husband figured this out. I love the man. Thank you. I have arthritis terribly in my thumbs, in my hands. Take your thumbs and push and it opens it. You don't have, it's so simple. Thank you, God. Uh, I bless that man every day whenever I open an ink pad. Now I'm going to put this here, this little saying that I chose. And I didn't have to use my um, foam mat because this is red rubber. Not a cling. These were older, so that's why I didn't have anything on the back of it. I'll forget you not. And then I'm going to use my little bird here. Let me close this. 
you're the best, I'll forget you not, and I take my little bird, and he's going in this little corner, and again, this was from our paper pumpkin, I oh, I should have used my mat, but we're okay, right there, um, so yeah, I'm still liking that paper pumpkin a whole lot, and still want I wanted to use these little birds and I didn't know where to put them and when I got this kit I looked I said oh that's perfect that is just perfect for that so I'm going to make the bluebird of happiness right here that's what I did on all these cards the bluebird of happiness and just a little on the beak and a little green feathers here and I'm going to do green feathers on the back too because some of the other two, I did two brown ones. So I'm going to do green or orange back there. Let's do one of each. Let's do green here, orange, and green. Pumpkin pie right here. See, because you're crafting, you could do whatever you want. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, he's sweet. I uh, Now, I wish I would have done that more but I'll do that on the outside of the envelope for sure. Okay, now we're going to go, right. let's just go right into making the envelope. I've got the envelope punch board. I think we can really get this done. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to pick out the um, bone folder. So this is our envelope punch board and it's so very easy. You measure one time, guys. There's a whole grid down here. Look here, it says, three by three, that's our card size. We need a five and a quarter by five and a quarter piece of paper and where our score line is at two and five eighths. Look at all of these sizes. Isn't this beautiful? This goes up to six by eight and a half. So you would need 11 and a half by 11 and a half piece of paper there. So, you know, th this is fantastic. This chart is fantastic. This is a great tool when you need an envelope it's easy. So I've already cut this at five and a quarter by four. This is just regular Whisper White. I didn't use any thick Whisper White because this is these are small cards. And we want to go here to two and five eighths. And isn't that nice that they even put the, the, um, the number right there because a lot of people have trouble with the eighths. And then you score. I like to go from the bottom and punch. Now you turn it. That's the only time that you measure. This score line and this score guide right here, you line that score line up on that score guide perfectly. You do not measure. You score and punch. Rotate it again. Line up on your score guide. No measuring. Score and punch. And again, line up on the score guide. You can punch and score. It doesn't matter. However that you want to do that is fine. Just as long as you get a score and a punch, a punch and a score. Now, on the back of here is a corner rounder, and I like to round my corners. So I just punch like this. And again, I'm going to show you when you use this device what you waste. Just that. Isn't that fantastic? Isn't that like so fantastic? Now everything is scored. You want to take these ends, fold them in, finger fold it, take your bone folder, and from the middle guys, so that you don't stretch the paper. This is short, and it would be very easy to stretch this paper. So from the middle, up, down, just like that. And do that all around. Bring it in, finger press it, score it. Bring it in, finger press it, and score it. And one more time. In, finger press, and score. Just like that. Now I like <clears throat> I like this to overlap in here and this to come up like that. You know, or something like that. Just like that. So I just, I put my finger where this flap is because you know me guys, I don't really like to measure a thing. Um, and I just put my Tombow and then I close this. Now on this bottom, you want to put your glue on this flap. Put it on the flap, not on the card. You can't measure that. You can't line that up. Put it on the flap. You'd have glue all over the place. 
So put it on the flap and then fold it up and we have made the cutest little envelope just right there. Nice envelope. Nice and square. Beautiful. Just like that. Now, I don't like when I make something like this to add tape so that when people rip it open, they destroy it. So I've devised a little um, <clears throat> way to close your envelope. I'm going to get a little piece of balmy blue scrap. This is a little, um, little punch from the Bloom by Bloom. You could get any flower you want. You could even just use a circle. I just happened to use the punch because it was easy. You could even do like a little circle. Um, now you take your Tombow on just the, uh, the bottom of this little element here, just like that. Not much glue. See that? Not much. Now close your envelope. Make sure your glue is at the bottom here. Put it down. Don't let it touch this flap. See how that's going to close? And you don't have to worry about ruining the envelope with this type of closure. You can do, um, you could do anything. You could put a wreath back there, flowers. You could do framelits, punches, anything back here. But just make it so that the tip of the envelope, it, that that's free on the top and that the tip of the envelope goes into it. So just my little advice there on that. Now, Memento Black Ink. And um, our little bird, where's our other little bird? Right here. This is our other little bird. And just right here on the outside of our little envelope. Just like that. And now, just let's color our little bluebird of happiness in here also. Just like that. And we'll just continue to color. My daughter is here with lunch. I can hear her coming in, so you might hear her come in. Sorry. Hey I'm doing a video. Uh, sorry. <laughs> it's life here at this house. It's Sunday, right? And then I get ready to do my live on Sunday. Now we'll do our little wings here. Right there. I wasn't going to stop it. We're almost at the end, so, or I would then stop, pause, and do that. So just right there. And I'm going to put one green in the middle here because I really liked that with the orange. I thought that was really sweet. And I'm going to do this right here, his little beak, and then his tail feathers. And we have a beautiful project done here, guys. I'm so happy that you tuned in with me today to watch me put together um, this little project I created from our tin. Love this. Watch this go in here. Ah, isn't that adorable? Okay, let's bring our tins in. So now we have two. I just have to make cards for the next one. And they all fit so nicely in here, just like that. Isn't that fun? What a nice little gift for somebody at the office. All of them with envelopes. All of them have cute little cards inside of them. If you really want, I love this little kit. Now this was just a ton of fun today in the craft room. Let's just open a few of these. Ah, oh, adorable. I had so much fun. We used every single stamp, and you know, you guys know, I love that. I don't like to leave anybody out. I've used every single stamp, and this was just <laughs> like, too much fun. So let's look at that again in the catalog. Let me pull that up here for us. Sorry, just flipping through to find it. I didn't think it was that far to the back. Oh, here it is. Okay, right here. Cute crew punch box. Adorable. I used every single stamp. I love the pencils. I love that punch. The box is beautiful. Like I said, I'm going to use that for something else. I went ahead and used my smaller tins. We made this beautiful embellishment. I love to make that medallion. That was so much fun. I hope you guys will try this project. Thanks again for being with me. Please go to stampinginthevalley.com. Click on the big blue button. Order any and all of your Stampin' Up! products. And happy crafting!